What's up guys? Today we're going to talk about the 60% keyboards and we're also going to talk about the full size keyboards. Even though I don't have it here, I'm still going to talk briefly about the TKL keyboards. I'm going to go over the advantages and disadvantages of each one and hopefully by the end of this video you're going to have enough information to make your own decision about which of these keyboards would be more for you and your case. Let's start with the full size keyboard. Now these type of keyboards you're going to see them everywhere. They're very popular popular everyone uses them is just your typical keyboard whenever anyone says keyboard they're most likely talking about a full-size keyboard like this one the advantages of a full-size keyboard like this one is the fact that you have the numpad which could become very useful for some of you and the fact that you also have all the extra buttons on top the function buttons which if you're using a macro keyboard you can reprogram the buttons to do whatever you want which could be very useful for editing programming and a lot of different things also some of the full-size keyboards come with dedicated media buttons which is very convenient to pause the music play it maybe turn the volume up turn it down and so on also one good thing about full-size keyboards is that most of the time they do have a USB pass-through which basically means you can plug in your mouse directly into the keyboard so you can just have one wire connecting both the mouse and the keyboard to your computer now let's talk about the disadvantages of this keyboard since it's way bigger than the other smaller keyboards obviously it requires more materials to be made therefore it's more expensive than the smaller keyboard one big disadvantage for this keyboard is the fact that they're really big to the fact that it becomes inconvenient to travel with them and you'd need a really big backpack to actually travel with these type of keyboards. So if you're the type of person who has their computer on them everywhere, you're going to need a smaller keyboard than this if you want to take it with you everywhere. Also, one big disadvantage for me personally is the fact that it takes a lot of space on the desk. Now, before we move to the 60% keyboard, I want to talk about the TKL keyboards real quick. And basically, they're exactly the same as this one, except for the fact that you don't have a numpad. So you have the arrows, you have the delete insert on all these buttons, you have the function keys, but you don't have the numpad. Now, if you do editing or programming and you do need the extra keys but you don't need the numpad then I would say a TKL is pretty good because it gives you the extra set of keys without the numpad and so you still get a pretty small and uh, convenient to move keyboard but without the numpad. This is the Keychron K6. Now this is not exactly a 60% keyboard, not a TKL keyboard and obviously not a full size keyboard. I would want to say that this is basically a hybrid between the 60% keyboard and the TKL keyboard. The reason why I want to call it a hybrid is because it has the arrow keys right here and at the same time it's a really small keyboard, basically a 60% keyboard but with the arrow keys. So in this case, if you're switching, you're definitely not going to miss the arrow keys. One of the biggest advantages to the 60% keyboards as well is the fact that they use less materials. So obviously they're going to be way cheaper. And obviously since it's a 60% keyboard, it's very easy to take on the go and to travel with it, like I said. And usually you do lose the arrow keys when it comes to 60% keyboards. But if you do decide to go with this specific keyboard, the Keychron K6, you're going to have the arrow keys, which is actually pretty cool. Now let's get to the disadvantages advantages of having a 60% keyboard. Obviously, you're not going to have the numpad, but it's very easy to get around that. This right here. Basically, this will cost you like 10 to $12 and you don't need any numpads in the keyboard anymore. And I actually like it better because sometimes when I use my keyboard and I'm using the mouse, I actually catch myself wanting to use the numpad with my right hand a lot. And so if it's attached to the keyboard, there's no way you can use it with the right hand except if you move the whole keyboard to the right side. But with this one, you can just leave the keyboard on the left side and just move this one to the right side. And then now you have the keypad to your right and you still have the keyboard to your left. So that's a quick hack that I use. The second disadvantage to this keyboard is the fact that you lose the function keys. Obviously you can still toggle the function keys by pressing F2 and any of the number keys. And to be honest, I found that this is good enough for me. It might be a disadvantage to some people that use the macro keys a lot, but to me, I still reprogrammed it and I still use it. And the fact that I have to press FN2 before the function key is not really a big deal for me. So basically this keyboard changed my perspective on all keyboards because before that I was using the full size keyboard and I do use the numpad pretty heavily and so I didn't want to get a small keyboard like this even though I heard a lot of people say it frees a lot of disk space I thought I was gonna be fine with my full size keyboard and I just kept it 
until I switched to this one. And I'm happy to report that I'm basically never switching to a full size keyboard again. But the fact that you have a smaller keyboard like this makes it so easy and convenient to travel with it. And since I do gaming sometimes, it's amazing having such a small keyboard on the disc. So this way it frees a lot of space for my mouse because I just be moving my hand everywhere when I game. And since this is Bluetooth, I actually connect it to my phone sometimes and use it that way. Now, if you're wondering, the keycaps that I have on it right now, these are custom keycaps from three different sets or something like that. I'll put links in the description if I can find the links for the keycaps in case you guys are wondering about them. For me personally, I do a lot of editing and I do a lot of gaming and obviously the regular internet browsing and all. My personal experience with the 60% keyboard is way, way better because of the fact that I have such real estate on my desk that I can put a notebook, I can take notes, I can move my mouse freely, and I love the typing experience on this Keychron. Also, I bought all these keyboards with my own money. I'm not sponsored by any company, and I'm not getting paid by anyone to say any good things about a specific keyboard. Now that I've tried the 60% keyboard, I want to say that I will never go back to a full-size keyboard just because of the fact that I'm going to be losing a lot of real estate on my desk, and I think personally that's really important to me. So I would say if you do a lot of gaming, I would definitely go for the 60% keyboard. Even if you do edit and game, I would still go for the 60% keyboard because it's not like you can't use macros you still have plenty of keys to use macros with which i actually do myself now if you're just too used to the keypad being attached to the keyboard then by all means go for the full size ones i still think the full size has their uses and the fact that they do have a lot of keys could be very useful for someone out there but me personally i think i moved on from the full size keyboards and now i'm going to be sticking to my 60 percent hybrid keyboard right here and i love it Anyway, if this is your first time on the channel, make sure to subscribe down below if you want to see more videos like this. And let me know if you want me to talk about anything you see on my setup or anything. I'll be more than happy to make videos about it. If you enjoyed the video and you think I gave you some good info, please leave a thumbs up for me. It really helps a lot. If you think I did a bad job, then leave a thumbs down. Could also help a lot. You know, if you have more time, you can watch any of my other videos. You're more than welcome to watch them. Like I said, if you have video recommendations, let me know down below. Thank you guys for watching once again. Peace.